Hi, I'm George Pearson, and these are just a few examples from some of the training videos I have here on YouTube. Now, when you're working with the training, following along the training, if you want to get the materials I used in the training, just go to the description down below and click on the link that's at the top of the description, and this will take you to a page where you can download the materials. Please subscribe, click the like button, and of course, always share on Facebook, Twitter, or wherever. I really appreciate that. Okay, let's go ahead and get started with the video. This time around, we're going to be doing a Happy Halloween card here. Pretty straightforward, using a default Photoshop Elements size. I have two photos in here, a photo of a cat, which we'll use as the basis for this outline, and then a photo of the moon back there, just a basic photo of the moon. You can see it right over here. There we go. So it's real basic stuff and then some text across the bottom. Now this type is called Show Card Gothic and you probably already have it. If you don't, it's easy to find online. Just go on to Google and do a search for Show Card Gothic and you'll find that. Let me just show that for you here quickly. Go to the Type Tool and there you go, Show Card Gothic. They're always regular, so don't worry about the regular part about it. So there you go, easy to find typeface. Okay, let's go ahead and start this project and we'll start with a brand new file of course there we go all right file new file blank file and we'll use the default photoshop elements size which is six by four at 300 pixels per inch there we go now we have a couple of things in here and i'll be floating this most of the time but i may dock it if we need to at some point so if you don't know how to float and dock your window. Just go up here to edit, preferences, and general, and make sure that these two are checked. Allow floating documents in expert mode and enable floating document window docking. As long as those are checked, then you can do this. You can dock it like that or pull it down and float the window. Okay, first thing I want to do is I want to make the black bar across the bottom. So let's grab from the top ruler up here. If you don't see your rulers, go over here to view and click on rulers right there. Just click on the ruler, drag down a guideline, bring it right down to the three. There we go. Doesn't need to be perfect, but you know, right about there is good. Now let's go over here and grab the rectangular marquee tool. There it is. And then come right onto the guideline just off of the page and then drag your rectangle out like that. That gets that as a selection. Come down to our colors. Click on that little icon right there which sets those back to the default colors or just hit the D key to do that. And make a new layer up here. Click on the new layer button. New layer. Grab the paint bucket and click inside there and that gives us that bottom black bar. Okay, we can now just deselect that. We also can hide that guide. We don't need to actually have that any longer. Okay, that's step one. Next step is to work with our cat in here. Now, I have my cat photo up here all ready to go. Let this open up for us. There we go. Now, a link for this photo is on the video support page. You'll find a link for that, of course, in the description. And you'll also find a link for the moon picture as well. So let's go to that page and then you can get both this image and the moon image. Now in here it says take this picture and drag it over here onto our working document and then just close that down. Now I want to have this cat just a little bit smaller than the ha half of the picture. Maybe like three and a half inches in there somewhere. So I'll scrap a guideline over here. It'll, it'll show up again in a second. These are guidelines. I'll make the cat that wide. So it's a little bit smaller than half. And see there's our tail. So grab the bounding box. You can see it right there. Grab that and just drag that in. And let's make the cat smaller in here until it's just about that size. There we go. And choose OK. Now notice that the cat isn't on the right line. I want the cat lining up across the bottom down here. So let's go just outside of the corner here. 
this is I go out so I get that kind of a curved arrow when you see that click and hold and then just pull the corner down and rotate the cat around until its feet line up with that guideline there we are and choose okay click on that green mark you can then use the cursor keys arrow keys on your keyboard you can move the cat around a little bit if you want to kind of position that a little bit better I think he's turned a little bit too much let me just angle him back up just a touch that looks good so the front two feet are on that line and the higher of those back feet is on the line that's just what I want okay we can hide those guides again we're now going to make a selection around the cat so I'll make this window nice and large here so there's a basic selection around the cat we'll be using this to create our silhouette now you don't need to be real accurate about this but of course as always you know the better your selection the better off everything is so grab the lasso tool click on the bottom one down here the polygonal lasso tool my personal favorite don't worry about the little bit of fur in here we don't need to have that kind of spiky fur stuff showing so we'll just be going along the edge where the body would be without that fur fuzziness in there we're going for more of a sleek cat look as opposed to a kind of a furry cat look so I'll zoom in I'm going to start up here at the nose just as some list to begin with and I'll click right there and then just take my time and go around and make a nice selection around the face now you can kind of see in here there's a little bit of a, a softness or a gradient right along the edge of the cat if you're doing this kind of a selection you want to be right in the middle of that now here's the first part of the the fur I don't care about that I'm just gonna cut off that fur and follow up where the ear would be and then just work around and I'll do this whole thing for the whole cat and just go clear around the whole cat now so you don't have to sit here and just watch me doing this for the next several minutes what I'll do is I'm going to pause the video right now I'll finish making this selection around the cat and then I'll bring the video back up again there's one last little step on the selections which I'll show you when I bring this back up okay so I'll pause the video right now and for you in just a moment and for me in several minutes I'll be right back with this selected cat and there we go just like magic there is the selection now you can move the image around holding down the space bar there's a kind of hand thing you can actually then drag the picture around so I came along the back as I was ignoring the fur came around the bottom of the tail along outside there's a lot of little fur down here I ignored that and just followed the basic shape of the tail in here and same thing on the back a lot of fur sticking out I ignored that fur sticking out in space bar to make that move on the feet I came down around where the feet should be they're kind of hard to see in the grass but I just kind of eyeballed where the feet should be and again where I had this excess fur I ignored that and just brought the shape around where the body would be and once again on the front feet just kind of guessing where the feet should be down there and then bringing it ignoring that fur right there and bringing it back up again to the beginning now that we have that I'm going to put in just a couple of these whiskers in here so make sure that your lasso is on add to selection that's that second icon there in the tool options and then I'm just going to follow along three of these larger whiskers take them out just a little bit further here and make little kind of triangles like that so there's one and I'll come down to kind of a long one down here and bring that back up and finish that off and then one more right down here okay so I have three whiskers in there and our cat selection we can now zoom out using the zoom tool and the alt key so there is the cat selection now come down to this layer here with the black line 
and let me just shrink the window a little bit. There we go. Click on the new layer button right there, making a new layer here. And with that selection still selected, click on this button, which is the add layer mask. And that gives us a layer mask for this layer. We can now hide the cat layer. There we are. And then still on this layer, double click over here. Look for that light blue outline. There you go. Make sure your foreground color is black. Grab the paint bucket and then just click inside this area here. What that does is it fills that whole layer with black and then you can see the cat because of the layer mask. Oh, there's our cat. Now it's a little high, I think, just on his feet. So I'm going to use my cursor keys and just bring that down a little bit. I'm going to though first hold my control key down and get the layer two as well because they're both on that cat. I'll then use my cursor keys, the arrow keys. I'm just going to bring the cat down just a little bit. There he goes. So the feet look more like they're sitting on that line. Okay, there's a little bit of a rough edge as you can see here on that cat. So we're going to soften up this layer mask just a little bit. So go up here to filter and blur and Gaussian blur. Make sure that the light blue outline is on the layer mask. Double click if it's not on this side. And then give it just a little bit of blurring. I have mine set at 0.7 pixels, just a really kind of a soft edge in there. That's all we need. Just kind of softens that up. Okay, let's back out again. So there's the cat. That's all taken care of. And we have our wall taken care of. Now we need to bring in the big moon in here and put our background gradient. We'll do our gradient first. Let's put a new layer above the background. Click on the background, click new layer. There we are. Go over to the gradient tool right there and I'm going to just dock that picture for the moment. There we are. Click on the gradient itself and that brings up the gradient editor in here. And on this I want that one right there. It's the violet to orange gradient choose OK. There we go. Now set this at the radial gradient and then come about into the middle of the page and pull out to one of the corners. Now if it's like this, if it's the wrong direction, you want to have orange in the middle and purple on the outside, just click on the reverse option right down there and do the exact same thing again from the middle out to the corner. There we go. So there's our gradient. Now if you want to have more orange and less purple, just pull your line further out and you'll get more orange and less of that purple. Okay, so there's our basic kind of sky coloration. Let's now bring in our moon and I'll bring that file up here. That's right there. Again, the link for this is in the description. So take the moon and just drag it in. Now it's quite a bit too large as you can see, so let's just bring this down a bit. I'm just pulling it over so I can see the control handles. Grab the corner and pull it down. We're just going to do this several times. Pull it down, then drag it back up into position. Pull it down again, and then drag it up. Okay, now that you have it where you can work with it, I want to put the sides of the moon at about half inch away from the side. So about half inch here and five and a half over here. In the top at about a quarter inch. Doesn't need to be exact, but that's kind of what I'm, I'm looking for here. And that's right about there. Be a little larger. And that's pretty good. Kind of like kind of like that. And she's okay. We're now going to blend this into that background gradient using the blending modes up here. So come down here to Linear Dodge Add. And there we go. So it's adding the light parts of this into that gradient, giving us this kind of real bright glowing moon effect. Notice that the top edge of that doesn't matter. We don't even see that black edge. The black just disappears when you do that. So there's a real interesting glowing moon. 
Okay, now all we have left to do is just the type across the bottom. So go to the Type tool, and again, I'm using Show Card Gothic Regular, 36 point, and I have it set to center, just to make it easy. And let's set the color right here to white. There we go. Now click on the top layer up here, that's the cat photo layer. And then come down here, click right in the middle someplace, and then just type in Happy Halloween. It doesn't matter if you're using caps or not because the show card gothic is all caps anyway. So choose the OK. And then we can just kind of position this where you want it. And that looks pretty good. Notice how with the 36 point it comes out to be just about right in line with the moon on both sides. You can use any typeface that you like. I happen to like this one because there's a lot of space, a lot of thickness to the letters. And that lets us put in a nice gradient in here. So I'll do that and hold the control key down. Click on the icon right there for the type. There we go. Now let's go back to our gradients. Click on the gradient icon and then choose this one here. It's an orange to yellow to orange. And choose OK. Now I want to put one just straight down, you know, perfectly straight down. So let's make this easier. I'm going to zoom in a little bit here. There we go. And then I'll grab from the left side ruler and bring a guideline in here, right in the middle of one of the letters. There we go. There's there. Actually, there's the center of the page. I could have used that too. So here is the vertical line. You want it over one of the letters. It just happens to be in the right spot there. Okay, let's go back to the gradient. Now you can't fill actual text with gradients or anything else like that. So let's go up here to our type layer, drag it up here to make a new layer, and then right click where the type is, which is Happy Halloween, right click on that and choose Simplify Layer. That makes it just a graphic and then hide the other type layer. Okay, so this is our simplified graphic. We can now put our gradient onto this. So going over here to our new guideline, just come right on top of the guideline at the top of the letter, click and drag down right to the bottom, and then just follow that guideline down, let go, and that gives you a nice even line. And the reason for the guideline is because this is a very thin gradient here, and if I was off a bit, if I was at an angle like that, you get this kind of strange thing happening here. So it's very important to follow a guideline. Let's go ahead and I'll go back here to the guideline and I'll drag straight down that guideline and that keeps everything nicely lined up. Okay, let's hide those guides. There we are. Let's deselect. There's the deselect. Let's back out with the zoom tool and I'll float the window and drag it out and there we go. There's our happy Halloween cat and moon card. Thank you for watching this special Photoshop photography project video. Don't forget to subscribe so that you will get first notice of new project videos in the future. Just click on this link right here where it says subscribe here. You can get all 12 project videos in this series along with 26 special videos demonstrating the tools and techniques that I used in these projects by clicking on this link right down here. And then thank you again for watching this 